Hey guys, your broken person, and welcome back to my fifth and uh, eight in secondary career mode with Sham One Neo Ties. Last episode didn't go as according to plan, so we need to get things back on track to start this episode. Hi there again, everybody. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith here again, for men. your commentary today on this match, which is going to have an extra factor to it, the heavy rain that's been falling. Yeah, the ball is going to skid across the surface. I did used to like these kind of conditions because you get one or two mistakes. Well, the referee has... No, of course. Please award as many free kicks as possible, referee. I'm sure that won't get annoying. Alan, what do you make of the home side here today? Well, confidence and belief in this side must be really high after the start they've made. I know it's early days, but we all thought oh, they'd be the towards yes. the bottom and relegation candidates. There we go, lay it. That way. Z. Good vision here. Hill. Opportunity to cross here. Tight scenario here on the ball. Could be dangerous. Yes, yeah. That's taken the heat out of the situation for the moment with that interception. No Lunru. He's coming forward with some danger to put them in front. That's safely away. <laughs> it takes a nick off the player out for a throw. Renault Coad. Getting forward well as a team now. We could be in. He's in now. He's had a go here. Beautiful. And put away the goal. first goal of the goal. game. Zeke's force. Yet again. Well, There's good competition with goalkeeping in this team, and I think he might just be going down the pecking order after this. Well, we know the life of a keeper. You make a mistake, and invariably, it comes back to haunt you, and that was a big mistake. And that has opened the scoring. He's my here. striker. Philip Bolscheid. Well defended, not just getting across. He thought quickly as well. Now here's a chance to get at the opposition. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. And in the shot, go! Quick reaction time here from the goalkeeper. Corner. Corner now. He's put in the corner. Well, it's come to nothing in the end. Ah. Well, it was easy on the eye, but in the end, pretty easy That's to cool. defend against. Opening them up with a through pass. Throw in to come. Kane gets the cross in. They're already swarming around me. Actually used today, now that this rain is coming down, might have to change what they originally started with. Yeah, and I think sometimes Bill. with the lads wearing blades these days, you do see them slipping a bit more. And uh, it might mean they have to change halfway through this match. Oh. Philip Bolscheid. That's where the free part of the pitch is in the wide areas, and he's got there. 
Delivery to the far post. Oh, they could have increased their advantage there. Possibility yeah, of an equalizer. Game over. It should have been really from that Not distance. Such a simple task as them getting one goal. Renault Coad. Nolan Roo. I know it's a bit of a cliche, but this, this the next attack. goal will turn in this game. Will I put me in a more comfortable position, or it will be in the corner? Nolan Roo. Done well under pressure here to hold the ball as the challenge came in. Late. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a penalty position now. Yep, clear as day. I think the referee has something for you. The decision is made by the referee. It is a penalty, and the card is yellow. I just wondered about the colour there. I thought I saw red coming out for a second, but no. What? I think the booking is like fair like enough. Stoke or someone like that. Looks familiar. Maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. Great hands. Oh. How is it I am worse at penalties minutes. on this game than I was on FIFA 17? Renault Coad. They've changed penalties exactly no hormone and yet somehow I've become terrible at them. Isn't it Alan from him in the first half? Well he played really well, didn't he? I could probably count on one hand how many of the penalties I've gotten that I've scored. That's not good. Go. Second half underway. They could pose some danger now. Opportunity here. Oh, they lead by two now. At least they get then they score anyway, so making the penalty miss irrelevant. I don't know. I really don't know sometimes. You don't get away with that when you're a goalkeeper. At this level, no rush of blood, and that's not what you want from your goalkeeper, and it's cost his side. Restarting at 2 0. It's mad that your white play. That my white players are much better than my no coad. Or no matter who's supposed to be banging me, he goals. Here's a chance to attack. Quick witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. I wish we could add to the speculation that's going on about this potential transfer. Ignore that. I got an offer for him, but I can't I tell you it's been done yet. Yeah, in this day and age, it does take a long time. And it's been involved all sorts of things to sort out, but sounds to me as if something will happen eventually. They've opened it up there. A goal! The way they moved the ball about there, Martin, before creating the chance was really good. Doesn't mind getting the right off in that direction and celebrate. I'm yeah, sure getting the first goal gave him the confidence to grab the ball, second chance here. Whatever. Whatever works for you, man. Just a change now. You know what's funny is he's new player. amazing form say, last so season and today, at the start of this season the has gotten called up to the Cameroon squad. He's actually going to be going on international duty when the international break comes up. Um, it's the league uh, fixture that we're going to just tell you about for the home. This could be a chance. And shoots! I'm sure they'll be uh, excited that he's out for scoring two goals. 
and only really makes it four nil, so that should wrap up all three points. Picked out the spare man in the box. Marvelous goal here. Oh, those kind of rebound goals. I used to love never know. because it's all about anticipation. A good look here again by the replay of the goal. why but every time I go to s that, that's probably my most used celebration this one team FIFA, really on their game today generic bow oh, that very off color I don't know whose celebration that is but that's like the generic that's the most and I don't recognize it so it, I don't recognize it like it being from a previous FIFA the shot's on. Well, I don't know what to say about at full stretch. Whether it's new or coming up. The game it might have over. But he's been in the game. I've just never seen his head in the end. Yeah, that could be the case. But he closed his eyes there. He's for sure, but it's just weird. Now, here's a chance to get at the opposition. On the move and able to cut out the pass. I actually learned something oh, just the other day. Hey. The Onion. Oh. The dab has been removed from the game. Superb save. Well, it, it's you can still celebrate with that, but I think it's only with like certain players. I so so far I've only seen it with uh, Insigne of uh, Napoli, and I assume maybe Lingard and Pogba do it as well. But you can't actually do it with. Nice return pass. Yes. Renault Coad. Great chance. But um, with any other players. You know how I know this? I was playing a draft. I scored a goal with Insigne, and he just started dabbing. I was like, I didn't tell him to do that. And I paused it. And I looked, and sure enough. I didn't. It was encouraging. just, I, I don't know what I pressed to make him do it, but he Renault just did it. There's some potential in this move. Well, uh, I saw that that was gone. Two to intercept so, uh, there. Huh. I suppose EA figured it. They they must have realized that everyone was. Sick of side and in behind that stupid bullshit it? celebration well, the were against him, I think, from that position, and he's not close. He so, never looked up thank there goodness they removed it. Renault Coad, and there it is, the final whistle. Well, look at that score line. Like I said, my previous default salary. Oh, excuse me. Well, it might be the default celebration well, for Pogba. I would assume it is for Pogba. And it probably is for Lingard as well. I can't, I don't know all the players who dab. Because, well, I hate the dab. I'm glad it's fucking gone. Liga Earn. Seriously, whenever somebody dabs against you, all they were trying to do is raid you to the point where you might rage quit. That's that's the only reason anyone ever did the dab last FIFA. Paris Saint Germain. And don't don't even so what do those results mean to the think for a second that's not what they were doing. That's exactly what they were doing. with ten points. In second, Amiens with nine points. In third, Olympic Marseille with eight points. 
In fourth, Nice with seven points. In fifth, Bordeaux with seven points. In sixth, Angers with seven points. In seventh, Lille with seven points. In eighth, Caen with seven points. Bottom of the table, Stade René with one point. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Lorient with one point. Third bottom, Troy. Okay, is there something points. wrong with Paz or something? Dijon with three points. Fifth bottom, FC Nantes with three points. Villa. But has. Become 17. Why hasn't Paz become 16 yet? What the hell was the problem? I would love somebody to tell me. Is it a glitch? Is he 15 forever? Well, that's an interesting odd glitch. It just, just randomly appeared out of absolutely nowhere. Seriously, someone needs to explain this to me. Why? Why is he not becoming 16? A whole year has passed. That's pretty much... I think it was like the start of October I signed him, so his birthday... If it's not, if he doesn't become 16 during this month, I'm going to be like, um, what the fuck's going on? This is, I, I can't remember when exactly I signed him, but. The fact that he hasn't become old enough for me to call him up to the seeing your team yet is infuriating I won't be doing that. be especially pissed if that Italian dude who the boy only got at the start of the second season becomes 16 before for Pez. Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler, 
Alan Smith is with me. Anyway. Fine game for you today. Focus. This what about the away team on today? How do they will measure up? Oh, what a start for them. Like like delighted with it. Certainly the manager will be primary focus out of the to zone and the team that is one of the weaker ones in this division. Who, uh, to be has when is, can they continue it? This is the Saint Etienne lineup. Well, we've gone it's, with uh, a more four pressing. three three formation here for them. Is that the way you see it, Alan? Yeah, I mean, well, it can be adjusted. It could almost be a four five one if they're... trying to get the ball in behind. It's on the move all the time and makes lots of the another shot. It will be a corner. Corner played in. Good defensive clearance there. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Can whip it in. Gets him. Here's an opportunity. Beautiful header. For, for the first goal of the game. That's chocolate. Approach to this game. A goal. From the very highest, what made him go? I think he's picked him out from that left hand side. Wonderful delivery, really accurate cross. Well, it was just perfect from the delivery to the finish. My captain Top coming up from the back. Am I exactly right? So, the first goal, I think that's only like the third goal he scored. Tie up for this old career mode so far. Darba. A couple of teammates who are clearly on the same wavelength. Piot. Could be dangerous. Just to keep it to beat. That's a wonderful save at full stretch. Safety first there. Peyote. Ngassian. Well. On the attack here. Still a chance in there off the goalkeeper. And that's the way to defend. Make <laughs> sure the opposition can't get on the ball in that part of the pitch. Tackle here. Well, then it goes. Jacob Benge. He's got some room out here in the wide position. Chancellor? From the cross. Where are fucking Zerba? What the hell are my son Herpak's doing? Fucking. Where? We can't be bored. We only can see a goal a few games ago. He saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Put in from the wide area. Cleared the ball. It's a corner. Well, it does deserve to be seen and uh, to find the top left hand corner with a header. As good a header as it was, we don't need to see. It. He's put in the corner. That's why YouTube has that little bar there. Yeah. You can rewind yourself Put into the if you middle. wish to see it again. Nice clean save. No need for in-game re replays. He's wasting valuable video time. Well played the goalkeeper. Good judgment, good hands. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Alumba. Chocolate. It's unlike him, really, to play the ball straight to the opposition. Uh, poor, poor, poor pass. And, of course, that's a foul. Well, just to run that by you again, the news confirmed <clears throat> before the game. Everton have finally completed that transfer, Alan. It's a statement of intent, isn't it? Around £35 million for this lad, but he's got uh, good talent, good credentials. Into the attacking third. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Just a mistake, really. He's not even asked too much of the opponent. It's just a miss hit pass. 
Referee has pointed for a corner. Corner played in. It was a promising situation. They could have made more of that. And he's cut that out well, well read. And the time to be added on here is a minimum of three minutes. Jacob Benge. It was good progress with this attack. Good defending. Well, that's half time. Ah. And the ball is moving again for the start of the second half. Well, they could pose some danger now. Striding forward purposefully. Turned away by the goalkeeper spectacularly. Really? Now here's a chance. Come on. Beautiful pass. Layer team. Keeping the wide attack going. Gets his cross in. Good cross. He's got it away. Ah. To do. Stefan Ruffier. That is a great save, isn't it? Great save. Great build up. The finish. He's goalkeeper. Dang. Put the corner in the middle. Defended well. That could have super reflexes from the. Oh. He's aiming for the front post. Come on. For the goal. About that chance a few minutes ago, we can see it again now. Yeah, the head oh! of a wild attempt that it would oh! be done better. Somebody explain to me how. Corner's taken. That's great work by the goalkeeper. Oh, for the love of crap. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. So the referee awards a free kick. Up. Right. Some options now for the pass. Put in from the wide area. And they get it away. I don't know what was worse. The terrible cross. Or the fact that there was no one on the end of it. Daba. Saint Etienne given the advantage here. Oh. A vigilant referee. Played in the clear to get the equaliser. Miscued really with the header. Yeah, not known for his heading, and you can see why there with that effort. Ref's gone back to deal with that earlier incident. Yellow card. He's one of my favourite refs. He doesn't miss much, this lad. Don't see that so often just glided past him Effort never mind i guess passing to a teammate what's that passing it's like it's you're it's a competent footballer who plays the, the game for a living think, think what's that wow it's possible when you play incompetently you actually play good I know, it's crazy. Oh, you do the difficult thing in the right areas, ah. off, this is what happens. You get a great goal. Sometimes well, you see somebody so beat a couple of opponents and then it comes to nothing, but this fella made sure he had an end product to that wonderful bit of skill. Well, I know this manager's been working hard on the training ground on a certain shape and Boy, is it getting results out there.
Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Fire. Ah. <sighs> Dabba. Help. Help. Just just help. Help. Well help. The team now. Can really get at the opposition here. Uh, cut out by the defender. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Trying to catch the other team out with a quick break here. Going forward well. Crisp defending there. He's aimed for the far post here. Oh, that's a good header, just wide. Yeah, he did time it well there. Bit unfortunate. It's time for some fresh legs here. Daba. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Oh, chance! Well, they're not out of reach yet, are they? If he'd taken this chance, they would have been right back in the game. Yeah, it wasn't a glaring miss, was it? It was a decent effort, not far away. How many more chances might they create in this game? He might be through. Real chance. Come on, surely this has to be through now. Here's the chance. And this is oh, Please. Well, I didn't see it as being as one-sided as it's turned Lord. out. Lord. But uh, yet another goal and a good one too here in stoppage time. Not there when needed. The goalkeeper, as it turned out. No. This is the song. Let's kill me. I can understand why. Poor decision for him. Well, we're in the last few minutes now. So four more videos to make. Just, game, really. I don't know how we're going to get through if this is what they're all going to be like. Well, I guess he was aiming for a teammate, but he certainly didn't find one. Daba. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. And here's the shot. So close. The post. Looking for teammates in the middle. Stopped emphatically. It's finished here. There's the full time whistle. Great example. The intentions of the. Liga 1, Saint Etienne 0, Chamois Niote 3, Amiens 0. Monaco, two. Dijon, nil. Olympic Marseille, Oh, it just gets two. better. Bordeaux, one. Paris Saint-Germain, one. Lorient, one. Guillaume, nil. Metz, one. Nil. Things just one. get better. Stad René, nil. It's Olympic Europa Lene, League one. time. Yay. What those results mean for tonight's league tables. At the top of the table remain chamois Niorte FC with 13 points. In second, Olympic Marseille with 11 points. In third, Angers with 10 points. In fourth, Monaco with 9 points. In fifth, Olympic Lyonnais with 9 points. In sixth, Amiens with 9 points. In seventh, Bordeaux with 8 points. In eighth, Nice with 7 points. Bottom of the table, Stade René with 1 point. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Troy with two points. Third bottom, Dijon with three points. Fourth bottom, Saint Etienne with four points. Fifth bottom, Lorient with four points. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.